Iloilo City is well known for its culture, food, and being known as the city of love. However, most people are unaware of the unique, awesome, and diverse activities, passions, and communities that inspire this big event called Unicon. These are their stories. Hi, my name is Carl Anton Bermeo. I was the Ililu Habicon 2013 event coordinator. And in 2014, I was the vice president of Ililu Comic Con. And in 2015, I was also the director of Ililu Habicon. It all began uh, back in the days in 2013. Uh, my Arakami is a toy, toy member. Uh, I don't have to mention his name. Uh, he has a shop, a local shop here in Iloilo where he sells uh, Tamiya or mini four-wheel drive authentic uh, cars and one time he went to the shop, uh, one of our uh, founder of Iloilo at the ITCC group and we were able to have a meeting get or gathering there at his place because he's planning to have a, a an event for his uh, Tamiya tournament. So, uh, what happened is, you know, uh, this, you know, our group has a variety types of uh, collectors. Like, there's a may ara Gundam, may ara manga collect some mga Marvel. There's some DC collectors too, and uh, other varieties, madat na you know toy collecting in regard. And while we were discussing about. Uh, about his plan, uh, he wanted us to uh, collaborate with him. Uh, we're gonna add some events such as a, a Gundam model kit uh, contest, and then uh, one of our friend who, oh, I mean one of our member who is who happens to be uh, the member of or the the admin of Magic the Gathering uh, community here in Iloilo. Uh, he also wanted to add another event that is a Magic the Gathering tournament. And we also have another friend who is also interested to put some Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament as well. And then, you know, the list goes on. We started brainstorming and that's how Ilulu Habicon uh, got invented. Back in the day, Sangha start palangko uh, coordinate or being, you know, uh, the event coordinator in Habicon 2013. I wasn't that uh, socialized against my because I have a huge social anxiety in <laughs> self -co. Um, Back then, before, uh, I have trouble talking to people. Mga people nga never ko pala na meet. Uh, first time you bla meet up in person, I get so tense and I don't know, not, not terrified. I don't think it's the right word for that, <laughs> but it's more on uh, having self, in the market self doubt. But uh, I have lack of confidence, lang sa self ko. You know, if I can pull this through or not. So this this kind of field para sa ako ng habik ko It's a very challenging sa self ko as an you know, introvert po ko dahil klaseng na tao and uh, I am only comfortable to people who I'm familiar with or, you know, mga friends ko and family. But to, to, to other people, like, you know, I just met you like for the first time, they, I'm like extremely scared and nervous about it. So, yeah, Habicon really changed my life. Uh, it also changed uh, my character and personality, how to be, you know, uh, improve ako na mag socialize sa mga people. Um, back then, I was so scared nga gagakurug kurug mga kamot ko na mag talk sila. And then back then, some 2013 daan, though halos tanan, I'm the one who is making all the move. Uh, like, for example, I did uh, when I try to look for uh, mga companies ng willing mag sponsor sa event ko. Ako na nang isa gamatumato kadto na si ila ano uh, op opisina 
The two founders of the Ililo Toy and Comic Collectors Group are Axel and Dexter. And Dexter, you can find his shop at Merrimart Mall. It's called iBam. They sell um, some authentic uh, toys there. So I suggest you guys, if you're into uh, Gunpla or you know you customize Gundam or other model kits out there, I fully recommend um, supporting his shop over there. So yeah, it was around 2013 uh, May. That's where uh, that's where Hobbycon got. Uh, that's where Hobbycon began, and we only have like three months to prepare. So the first Hobbycon, uh, the first venue of Hobbycon 2013 was at Merrimart Mall. Um, we were at the activity area of the Merrimart building, you know, ground floor, the first building of Merrimart. And yeah, I completely remembered that there were uh, Magic the Gathering tournaments there. There was Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, there was also a mini four-wheel drive, but the sad thing is they were a bit separated from the activity area. They were somewhere on the second floor, which is quite near uh, at the aquarium shop before. I don't know if you guys remember that. And then there was also Tekken tournament. There was Tekken tournament, toy, uh, the toy displays, of course. And there were also panel discussions, you know, there, like people from Yu-Gi-Oh talk about their stuff. It's so same goes with the Magic the Gathering peeps. And, uh, yeah, and the toy group too, like how they all started, how they began uh, collecting or got into that kind of hobby, you know? And yeah, I remember uh, our mission of doing this kind of event is because we want to gather all these types of uh, hobby community in just one gathering event. So it was a pre it was a splendid and spectacular event. And I remember the night before the I remember the night before the event. I was so. Um, I was extremely tense, I was extremely tired from, you know, updating all these people and I was completely worried that, you know, my, the event won't be a success and, you know, I, I tried to talk to some of my friends, they knew I was already crying and it was a pretty emotional night for me and I didn't sleep for like a week. <laughs> The only way, to, the only way to make me get some sleep is to, you know, cry myself and, and yeah, the extreme pressure and tense in this event. It's not easy, you know, organizing a event such as this. But in the end, in the long run, uh, it was hella worth it. That's all I can say. Now during the event, uh, everything was. I mean, the activity already started, but it wasn't completely well organized yet because there were a lot of things that I was trying to, you know, trying to prepare for the uh, control panels. I heard that, you know, that during the event, I wasn't at the event itself because I was at the internet coffee shop looking for, I mean, I, I was gonna uh, print some, you know, some information about the, the event day and yeah there were a lot of uh it wasn't a a hundred percent uh success for me but uh when i when i finally got to when i finally got to head back to the event i was quite surprised and i was unprepared that there was a there were media who, there was a media that was here. Yeah, there was a media who, who wants to uh, take an interview for me. And I was startled and, you know, as a person who is, has this uh, social anxiety and I wasn't prepared about my, you know, how I'm supposed to speak in front of the camera. So, yeah, the event was also a two-day event. Okay, after, 
So after the two-day event, um, people are, you know, some of my close friends and came close to me and said that uh, Habicon is a wonderful event. They want they want to have more, and they're asking if there's going to be another Habicon next year or maybe sooner than that. And that really touched me, and it made me feel like I. I gave, you know, this that this event was a super successful event for me, and you know, just seeing people happy, being enjoying their, you know, their the activity and the event itself, that, you know, that for me is what I call a complete success. Okay, now the second Ililo Happy Con, it was supposed to be in 2014 but due to lack of funds lack of resources lack of um you know time and everything because i was uh, extremely busy that year so we decided to move it uh the next year event and good thing is i've learned a lot from my past mistakes so i got to prepare the event about six months before the two-day event it's still a two-day event and then I was able to gain my confidence this time this kind of this time of year and I got to meet more new people more interesting uh, activities that we just added that it wasn't introduced back in 2013 and this time we move our venue to Robinson's mall and I like the venue there because they have a big space. Uh, we were able to occupy more activities over than the, the Merrimack venue. So this time we added, this time we added Dota 2. And the, this time we added League of Legends. And that, that's one of our main attraction. So what I learned from this 2015 Ililo Habicon compared to 2013 Habicon, uh, I've gained much more confidence this time. I was able to meet new people, new uh, new sponsors who are interested to be part of this event, and also some old community who wanted to join again and have their activities going on for another round. So first day, our main event was the League of Legends. They have three categories. I remember it was um, for the beginners category and then the females category and the you know finals also nagbalikman ang Tekken tournament we also had uh, also ang nagbalikman sa Amon were the Yu-Gi-Oh people the Magic the Gathering then we have some few games or activities that we got to introduce which were uh, Smash we also added a few more games and activities such as Super Smash Brothers, League of Legends, and this time, ging try na mong uh, improve pagid ang activities ang ibang event. Like we have our first Yu-Gi-Oh tournament ng Grand Finals. Ging butangid na mong sa stage, tapos may camera pa nagatulog sa ano nga makita sang dako nga first time nga ging butang na mong sa big screen nga 60 inches nga LED TV um, and I was surprised nga may galang taman sa ano eh, sa event. It damo ng activities nga kakalatabo to sa first day. Um, ga start to ang main attraction sa League of Legends. And then at the same time, may sa piyak na side, mga activities naman sa Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic Gathering, uh, Tekken, Super Smash Brothers, uh, ga ano sila sa pong elimination rounds. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, on the other side of the the second activity area were the Yu-Gi-Oh, Tekken, Magic the Gathering, and Super Smash Brothers were having their elimination rounds. And I was quite surprised this time that we have more attendees, more uh, players that participated on each activity. It was like two to three times bigger than the previous event. So on the second day, tapos na ang League of Legends, 
ang nabulos naman sa second day were the ano naman mga Yu-Gi-Oh Magic na naging held sa stage sa big stage mismo and kinataga naman sila ano pa ganito introduction sa mga WWE music na black <laughs> it was uh, wala lang on the spot lang na mga ay nakam ako lang na sa early morning itself lang like we want to add those para do do uh, ano pa add flavor pa ganito sa event lahaw. Tapos ang nami pagkit sa event ni compare sa 2013, we we were able to gather more players outside Iloilo. May arak na player from uh, Bacolod who is well known dito sa Philippines, and then we also have play sa we have also banga players nga from Cebu, Manila, na nagplay uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, nagkatugid dito sa event ko. We have a VIP guest also sa League of Legends na katuman dres sa event namon. Siya na actually ang commentator uh, sa League of Legends sa uh, ilang mga uh, tournaments kada ano eh. So the big impact sa overall nga habi ko nga experience ko, not just for myself but also the entire community manda is that we were able to expose sa mga people. I'm sure there are a lot of Uh, viewers or ibang uh, spectators nga way ka, who are also fan of the this kind of pop culture nga event and mara ibang ganik na uh, surprise na like wow i didn't know Yu-Gi-Oh there's a Yu-Gi-Oh community here na uh, ibang gapingita na bla nga mega exist nga community dire sa Lilo te ako ginabulig ang habi ko ng event nga ging expose na mga ging introduce kad o oh, amon pagit na, na may mga bagumang kami nga ano uh, spectators or uh, oh spectators ah oh. may mga bagumang kami nga spectators na kadto man si event uh, lo looking for a right hobby for them and tapos na may ibang may napili and you know I want to be a Tekken player or ang isa naman ni eh, oh I just came here just to you know enjoy the event or see what's going on you know, damo lang na ang klase tao na uh, You know, interest man sa ila ano so yeah. And I really want to thank uh, those people who supported me, who uh, came up to me and you know uh, wanted to be part of the event. Kada sa tanan ng mga nag ano nag intra kada nag participate sa event ko. You know, if, if it wasn't for you, uh, this event wouldn't be a big success, kid. So. Ako, ikaw ka pa salamat sa mo. Hands down to you guys and I'm very grateful that you guys enjoyed this journey as much as I did, kid.